In this repair video, we're going to be working on a Lenovo laptop. The model number is E585, and it came in for a damaged USB-C connector. We have a lot of USB-C connectors in stock, and Big Boss was able to locate one that looks similar. And we have it here. Let me show you what I mean. The USB-C connector is right here, and the one that we have is this one here. The connector does not have to look 100% alike, but the dimensions are similar. Let's take a look. Look at the legs on the sides. Width, length, and the spacing between the legs are similar. If we flip the board, we notice that this connector has through-hole pins. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four in the center two here and two here. If you look at the connector that we have, if you look here, we have six pins on the top, we have four in the middle, and we have two pins on each side. Great. So that's the same connector. And I'm working on expanding that 500 ports box that we sell. The box contains 100 different models of micro USB connectors. I'm trying to expand it to include USB-C connectors. We have about 35 different samples that the factory mailed over. So we're going to go over those and probably add them on to the 500 ports box. And we can also sell them as an add-on. So all of you who purchase the 500 ports box, you can just add them on to that box. Right now, if you look at the connector, we do see damage onto the pins right here. Look at this. So the connector is damaged. We do not just replace the connector if the connector looks good. On most USB-C laptops, the problem is not the connector. It's mainly the USB-C power controller, MOSFETs, so on and so forth. But in this case, the problem is the USB-C port. I mean, the board does not look too thick. So I'm just applying heat and we're going to remove the connector that way. I do not see a need to apply low melt solder right now, you see. Just like that. If that board was like a video card board, a thick board, then it will be very difficult to apply heat and remove that connector. We would have to apply low melt solder or leaded solder in order to lower the melting temperature of unleaded that's already on the board. However, adding low melt or leaded solder to mix them along with unleaded will make the wicking process a lot easier. If we're not able to easily clean the holes, then we're going to have to apply low melt solder to make the process easier. All right, so let's see. How easy is it to wick a lot of solder? We have a premium wick.
I just realized that we lost audio throughout the whole video. Microphone batteries went dead and the mic was not recording. Anyway, I just changed the batteries on the microphone and we should be good now. The laptop is fixed. Big Boss reassembled the laptop right here and the laptop is working. He did confirm the USB-C port is working. It's charging. The laptop is powering on and everything is good. I mentioned a lot of important details throughout the repair, but what can you do? We lost the audio. All right, so I just plugged the charging cable and you can see the orange light. And if we power the laptop on, we do see the light on the power button and it should power on. All right. It's on. That's it. The job is done. And we lost the audio throughout the video. But what can you do? I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.